Well, evening, guys. Um, obviously, I'm conscious of time, so um, I'll, I'll rattle through. I mean, none of my stuff is is quite as in depth as, as a lot of uh, a lot of the other people have been through already. But I would say it will kind of it kind of mirrors what a lot of people have already said. Um, uh, if you like the bad of this year, um, you know, as, as I think Simon said earlier on, roller coaster it sums it up brilliantly. And I think you know, for, for anybody here who's on the call who's either just getting into property or, or you know, has been in it for a fairly short space of time, that is what it's all about and just get used to it. And, and it's, you know, you know I've, I've, I've run businesses for like 30 years and it's always, everything I've always done has always been very up and down. It's always been a bit of a roller coaster, but nothing compared to the last sort of three and a half, four years I've been, uh, I've been in property full time. Um, and I don't know why that is really. I don't know if it's just because you're kind of, a lot of people are kind of working on their own or, you know, you're dealing with the public more or it's just, they're just more variables, but, but yeah, the bottom line is that's, that's how it goes. So, so, you know, get used to it and, and embrace it and just, uh, you know, just try and uh, try and bat through it. Um, other bad things, like Nick said, I suppose, you know, just the, the knock on of the, the last year really, I suppose, has merged into the, into the previous year with all the, you know, the COVID, the lockdown, the homeschooling, all that kind of jazz working from home, trying to, trying to manage the kids as well, which has been hard, hard work. But, um, you know, from a more business point of view, um, as some of you know, my, you know, I had a, a, you know, a kind of fairly modest um, rent to SA portfolio. Uh, that that shrunk this year. Um, a couple of them that we had that were running in um, in Reading, the numbers just didn't work. We didn't manage to make it up, you know, when COVID struck, um, and we were just kind of treading water really with it. wasn't really making any money. We, we didn't lose a lot, but we weren't making anything, um, and it was just a lot of headache and a lot of stress. So so they went, um, and then a few months ago, the couple that I had left, one of those, we were given notice by the landlord, so that got that got kind of pulled away from us um that they didn't like the fact that we were operating there despite the fact we'd been through all the you know the the, the process of, of telling them that's what we were going to be doing but anyway you yeah, know the, the the upside i guess to it you know every cloud has a silver lining there's less hassle now you know the profits you know the profit margins have actually gone up because before you know it was a load of grief and it was costing us a little bit of money um so I'm, you know, the upshot of that is I'm kind of always on the lookout for more SA units. So, you know, anybody here that's kind of looking at sourcing SA units, then, you know, but, you know bear me in mind, give me a shout if something comes up that, that stacks and it's in the right area, then I'll always look at it. Um, other things that have been a challenge, um, I've spent quite a lot of time with a couple of JV partners looking at, you know, spending a lot of time looking at sites, particularly new build sites, which is something I'm, I'm trying to get into um and, and they've just not worked out so we've, we've burned a lot of energy and, and time on those but again you know silver lining as i say you know it, you either earn or you learn um everything's been a learning process and it's it's kind of it chalks up on the, the kind of like the experience board i guess um but that's it really from from a bad point of view you know that those those couple of little things have been the only things that i'd, I'd kind of um i'd moan about i guess um from a wins um, perspective I've upped the um, kind of the coaching, mentoring, training side of what I do. Um, so, so my business has kind of got three parts. There's the property investing side. There's the coaching and training part of it. And then there's the kind of project delivery, um, kind of principal designer role that I do for other clients. So I run projects for other clients. <clears throat> so the three of them kind of run alongside each other as i say the property investing side just because again because of the market and you know not having the right um i guess relationships with the right deal packages that can provide the right service that i trust that's kind of gone on the back burner i've focused more of my time on the um the coaching and training side um and the and the project delivery side um so you know i've been really fortunate enough to to you know work with some some great clients this year um, you know, I've worked with dozens of people where I've helped them to kind of get them up to speed and help them understand the project delivery side of the business. You know, what they need to do as, as either uh, property investors or as deal packages um, ties in probably nicely with what, what, what Trish and, and Tina are, are trying to do from a um, from a kind of compliance point of view on the you know what I call the paperwork side of it. Obviously, what I focus on is more around the practical running the project, making sure all the CDM, the health and safety is done, the contracts are in place with the builders, um, and you know, and that's something that again, you know, it frustrates me the same as it does with 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 the ladies, I guess, of 
trying to get people to understand that you know if they're coming into this industry they've got a they've got to understand and they've got to be aware of all the things they need to do you know there's a lot of people you know, i'll say probably uh, again at least 99 percent, probably more of people that are out there deal packaging or running their own projects don't do it properly you know in black and white they do not do it properly they don't have the right processes in place the right health and safety the right um, you know the right systems for for finding builders, contracting builders, all that kind of stuff. So you know, for me going forward, I just want to you know keep keep pushing the word out there. You know, keep trying to get people to understand that they need to be doing this stuff, need to to, to understand it, and at least um, I mean, obviously Gary's on tonight. Gary's um, you know been on and done my one day training with me. Um, you know, hopefully got a lot a lot out of it, and and you know one of the things that. Um, you, you know, I always say to people that do the training, is it doesn't really matter whether, well, it does matter, but to me, it doesn't matter whether they kind of run with it and, and do things properly, but at least, you know, I want them to know that that's what they should be doing. And then after that, it's a, decision, it's a personal decision on whether you want to, you know, spend the, the time and, and put the energy in into actually doing it right. Um, but I think, you know, there is just, just, a, just a, a, a lack of knowledge and people don't know what they don't know. Um, anyway, you know enough about that side of it. Um, one thing I have learned over the over the last well, couple of years, really, but you know, especially this year, I've focused a lot on marketing, digital marketing. You know, and I've I've said this to you know, I've made this quite um, sort of plain. I think in in a lot of the groups that I'm in, um, you know, you've got to be marketing yourself all the time. And again, for anybody on here who's who's kind of relatively new into this stuff. You know, got to get on social media. You've got to make the most of it. You've got to tell everybody what you're doing, why you're doing it, where you're doing it, um, because you know you've got a platform there to 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 showcase what you're all about. Um, especially if you do stuff on video, um, you, you know, and just be consistent so that everybody who's out there is watching, and they can, you know, people will either resonate with you or they won't, and that's just life. Yeah, but the people that do resonate with you and do like what you're about will will then kind of gravitate towards you. And they're the people over time will either be your clients or they'll be your JV partners or they'll be your investors. Um, you know, and one of the one of the wins that I've had over over this year, if I'm honest, in the last six months has been where I've been consistently doing stuff on social media, on Facebook, LinkedIn, to a point, Instagram. Um I've had some JV opportunities that have presented themselves. Um, so I had a, I had a, a telephone um, Zoom call with somebody last, sorry, week before last. Um, I knew him in a previous life. He was a, a contact of mine probably six, seven years ago. Um, he owns a, a bit of land. We own, well, they own quite a few properties, but in particular, one bit of land, which currently they rent out to a, it's like a daycare centre. Um, and they've, they've got planning on it to, to demolish it put a, um, a, a, a kind of a commercial or retail space underneath, develop it in at nine flats. Uh, he rang me or he messaged me out of the blue and said, look, can we have a chat? I've seen, you know, I've been following what you've been doing. Um, you know, would you be interested in either advising on it or getting involved? So obviously I'm, at the moment we're talking about the opportunity of me getting involved as a JV partner on it. So whereas I'll, you know, they'll obviously put the land up and then I will help them raise the funds um, for it, the finance for it. And then I will deliver the project. Um, so that's just one. Uh, another meeting I had again a couple of weeks ago with with some different people that again I've known for the last couple of years through social media. We've had a bit of interaction, different bits and pieces. I've met them a few times, um, and we're looking at putting together a construction firm where we um, where we can obviously deliver projects for either individuals or small developers. Um, particularly around the kind of modern methods of construction, the ICF, which I'm not sure if people have seen. I've, I've put a couple of posts in the group about it. Um, you know, one of my plans, you know, it has been for the last year or so, is to get into doing more new build, to doing new build sites, finding new build sites and plots of land um, to, to, to you know, start getting some new builds up. Um, and in the last three months, I've been working on a uh, an ICF construction. Um, property which is basically it's, it's kind of like a, um, a modern well, it's a modern method of construction but it's a, it's almost like a lego system so it's um, polystyrene blocks 
there's like an inner and outer skin, there's a cavity in the middle, you link them all together, it's all kind of dry, dry joint construction, uh, and then you fill it with concrete. Um, so it's really, really fast to put up, very, very efficient. Um, and I, you know, my plan, kind of medium term, is to, is to as I say, find sites where I can do kind of build to rent type stuff because this particular method of construction is very, very thermally efficient. So, you know, once it's all built out, you know, energy bills are going to be next to nothing. Um, so I just think from a, again, kind of ties in with a lot of what you guys do, you know, if we can do a build to rent type scheme for, you know, either social housing or supported living, something like that, um, you know, there's not, there's going to be very, very um, low energy costs, you know, so, you know, then, you, you know, you're combating your, your, your fuel poverty stuff, um, you, you know, it all kind of ties in, I guess, you know, with what Nick was saying earlier as well. Um, so as I say, you know, one of the things for next year is we're, we're looking at, um, at, at putting together a construction company to deliver those projects for other people. And also we will be looking at doing, um, doing our own developments as well. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Um, I guess that's it really in a nutshell, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, there's loads of other little bits and pieces, but those are the main, the main kind of key points. Um, my main learnings are, yeah, again, rolling over really from the last couple of years is just keep going. You know, you've got to take the knocks. There's going to be loads. Keep, keep at it. Um, you know, don't quit. Um, you, you know, you, you only ever fail when you quit is, is one of the sayings. Um, I would caveat that with saying that you have obviously got to at some point take a view. So, you know, going back to my SA units, there is some point where you've got to look at it logically and say, well, in this case, you know, I have got to throw the towel in. Um, but generally speaking, on your, your overall journey, you know, just keep your head down, keep battling through it. Um, you know, every time there's a there's a, a trough at some point, you know, there's going to be a, a peak to get you out of it. Um, so again, you know, just just that's my tip, I guess, for, for anybody new into this or, or, or even people that have been around for a while. Um, you know, you just got to keep cracking on. Uh, and my other thing as well, my other kind of learning for this year is to learn how to say no. You know, I, I'm one of these people I always kind of try and help everyone. And, you know, you, you react to everything. You know, people ping you a message or ask you a question and you, 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 you want to, you know, it's just in me that I want to try and help people. Um, but at some point, you, you, if, if you do that for everyone, you end up getting overwhelmed and burning yourself out and just getting putting yourself under too much pressure. So I've, I've been consciously trying to, um, just trying to control that, I guess, over this year, you know, just be a little bit more realistic. And, um, you know, it, 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 you know, even if I can't help immediately, maybe, you know, prolong it and just push it a bit further down the road. Um, so, yeah, that, that's, those are my, those are my, my challenges, my wins and my learnings, I guess, for this year. And um, as I say, you know, as I've already said, for next year going forward, new sites. So I'm always looking for people, you know, again, JV. So if anybody finds sites that stack, or they think they've got, you know, there's opportunity there, let me know because I'd be more than happy to do, um, you know, JV ventures on that where, you know, I can take care of the practical side of it and the running the delivery of the project. And, you know, I've got access to, to a number of investors now. Uh, again, which has come through the marketing. Um, the construction side is obviously the second part of the business still. Um, and, you know, as I say, the practical hands-on side of it. And um, I'm in the process at the moment of putting together some new coaching, new kind of and some mastermind um, kind of programs as well around the, the business operations and the, the marketing and also the, you know, the practical project delivery side of it. So, yeah, that's, um, that's me, really. Have a great Christmas, everybody, and um, great to see you all on here tonight. Cheers, guys. Thanks.